What's going on guys, I'm your boy Sully and today I'm back bringing you episode... I will get to remembering this, but I do believe it's episode 47. Let me just quickly check. Yeah, bringing you episode 47 of Sully on Sundays. If you guys don't know what this is by now then, what are you doing on my channel? It's the only thing that has been sort of consistent, although we should have way over 100 episodes by now. but. This is Sully on Sundays, my weekly vlogging series where I sit down and talk to you guys about how my week has gone, any news I think you should know for next week and just any information that I feel you guys should know coming up within the future. Um, but this week was a weird week, I came back on Monday after an amazing Valentine's Day with my girlfriend. We actually ended up going to um, Paul's which was this nice little bakery slash restaurant we found when we went to Paris last year in May and they have a couple that have opened up in England so we went to a really nice one in London went out I got an amazing steak um, and yeah it was a nice little chilled relaxed evening then we went home we baked we made like biscuits um, cakes we made red velvet Oreo milkshakes which were just amazing and then yeah we just had a nice chilled relaxed night in um, watched Hateful Eight I believe because um, we started a Tarantino marathon and we had to finish it um, so that's what we did on Valentine's Day, and then, oh, beeping, and then, um, on Monday I came home, as you guys know by now, the French Revolution was cancelled, um, well not cancelled, but I had to basically just stop it, um, because the account I was using it on just basically got banned, I'm not sure why, there was no real reason for it, it wasn't a normal um, PSN or a normal EA ban, it was like a full on PSN ban, so I couldn't even sign into it on my PlayStation, let alone get on FIFA with it. Um, so that was annoying, but I did come up with a new series idea which I've already uploaded the first episode for, and the reaction to that so far has been insane. It's currently sat on 87 views from the past two days, has about 11 likes, no dislikes, no comments or anything like that, but that's pretty rare for my channel anyway. Um, but you guys seem to be enjoying it so far and that's really the reaction I wanted from uploading a new series. I was really worried that people wouldn't enjoy it. I was really worried that people would just get annoyed at the fact that things keep getting cancelled. But you guys seem to be enjoying it and that makes me a lot happier knowing that people are going to be watching that series. So I will upload a second video of that tomorrow. Um, I just have to like play, edit, record and then upload. So that will be up tomorrow. It's the Monday series as the French Revolution always was first video that will be up on my channel every week just so you guys now know and now are fully aware that is the series that is going to be replacing the French Revolution completely and that is that. Um, other than that in terms of my YouTube I haven't been able to upload a whole bunch um, just because I spent like a whole day having to go to Kingston which is like an hour bus ride away to get my phone fixed because I broke it. Um, I got that repaired, came home, that was a really long day. On the Monday, obviously, I couldn't record French Revolution, so it wouldn't be up. Um, and then I didn't actually get to upload till like Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, Wednesday was a video explaining about the French Revolution, I believe. Or they were both uploaded on Thursday. I really can't remember for the life of me. Um, pardon me, but yeah, should be back to decent, consistent uploads. The other video that will be going up this week will either be a Battlefront or a Tom Clancy's The Division beta gameplay. I haven't actually played the game yet. I did install it overnight when I went to the Kerrang Tour, which I will go on to, but that game looked insane. I saw the trailer for it and I was like, alright, I need to download the beta. And my friend told me it was on the PlayStation Store. So I was like, straight away, get on there, start downloading it. And then it was done overnight. So I've come home today recording this and then I'll go on to record that gameplay. If not, I'll record a Battlefront. Um, but it, it'll basically be my first reaction to that. Um, I really do want to get the game. It's literally just a case of money though and how much I enjoy the beta to be honest. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and then what else? Yeah, the Kerrang Tour on Friday. Um, I went to... Was it Friday or was it Saturday? It's really bad. That, that, yeah, it was, yeah, it was Friday the 19th. Um, went to... 
Kentish Town, which is a little place right next to Camden in North London. If you guys haven't been, I do recommend it. It's like a really awesome place to go if you're into music and stuff like that, and decent British culture. Um, but we went there, we saw this band called The Fighters, who are like this real rock and roll band from Atlanta, Georgia. They were okay. I felt like they weren't really as good of a band that was needed for the Kerrang tour. Maybe if it was like 1980s or if they were supporting someone like Guns N' Roses or something like that, they'd have been a lot more hyped up. But yeah, they were there. There was also this band called Rome, who are this like up and coming British band. They've only been a band for like four years and to already be performing at the Kerrang tour is absolutely mind blowing for any band. So. They were pretty awesome. They had a like. They obviously would have had a whale of a time performing at the Kerrang tour. And then there was this band called Frank Carter and the Rattlesnakes. Frank Carter has been doing music for like five, six years um, as a vocalist, and he's been in like three different bands. His new band were awesome. Um, they played a lot more like heavier stuff, and he was like one of the better showmen of the night. Like he controlled the crowd so well, and he made them do like a wall of death on their knees, which is just ridiculous. But then. Some 41 were the headliners, they were absolutely insane. Here is a little snippet of like how close I managed to get to them and one of the songs they performed that's basically a fan favourite. <laughs> So yeah, that was that. We went to we went and saw Sum 41, me and my friend Vic. Um, it was honestly absolutely insane. I've been listening to these guys since I was like six years old. So to actually be able to say I've been and seen them live, especially after all the crap the band's been through in the past like three, four years, um, it was just mind blowing to me that I've finally been able to go and see them. And it was just like amazing to be honest. Like being able to go and see a band or go watch a TV show like, that you've always watched or has always basically been a part of your life is just ridiculous. It's something that you can't really do too often and just amazing to be honest. So seeing them was awesome. The Kerrang tour itself as a whole was awesome. So props to Kerrang for the performance they like or the show they put on. Props to all the bands for the performances they gave. It was literally insane. Um, and it was an amazing night. Um, and yeah. That was basically my week. Then I spent Saturday with my girlfriend. Um, we just chilled in bed. We caught up with our TV shows like Arrow and Flash and stuff. And we were going to watch Deadpool, but we both fell asleep. So we didn't do that. Um, but yeah, that's my week. Not too much is going to change next week. Because um, I'll be back at school, obviously. So it'll just be the usual schedule, if anything, to be honest. And then, um, yeah, I expect a video on Monday. Then maybe one during the week and then at least two on the weekend, um, the usual stuff to be honest. And then I'll be back at work soon, so that might slow that might slow down my schedule a bit. It might make things quite awkward because usually what I do is I'll record my Monday video on Sunday, um, upload or record Sully on Sundays in the morning on Sunday, then upload my Sunday videos, then record my Monday video, have that all edited and pre-done for Monday so that's up and then yeah but because when I have the job I'll only be able to work weekends so that's maybe gonna slow things down that won't happen next week though because I have like training and stuff to do before the park actually opens but next week like I said I'm just back at school life will return to normal again no more lions or anything like that um, but yeah expect a normal week in terms of my youtube channel and that is basically it so hope you guys have enjoyed as always i've been your boy sully this has been sully on sunday episode 47 again slowly narrowing down to that 50th episode and i think i might do something a little bit different for that something instead of like a normal sully on sunday something just a little bit different i, I was given an idea by my friend on what to do so i'll probably go ahead with his idea and show you guys in a few weeks time when that comes out but yeah as always i have been your boy sully this has been sully on sundays like comment subscribe and peace